tons and tons of dope news all wrapped in one epic video. Yes, right. What's up? All right. What is going on, everybody? How? Oh, y'all doing before we get started with the video give it a thumbs up thumbs up destroy that like button right now do it do it do it all right we have a couple of dope gaming news items we got nintendo we got some xbox crazy news we got some sony news it's insane but first the nintendo switch pro Breaking news coming out of Bloomberg, a new report, new analysts are talking about the Nintendo Switch Pro coming out this year. Check this out. This is what the article says. And I quote, this is coming from a game consultancy, um, Contan Games Incorporated. All right. This is an agency that reports about financial reports and gaming news so they have to be pretty accurate for their investors this is what they say nintendo will need to start the next fiscal year without animal crossing and the pandemic because we all know how animal crossing combined with the pandemic cause switch sales to explode but they say that will be offset by a much stronger blockbuster software lineup and new hardware they say it right here new hardware and a more a stronger and i quote stronger blockbuster software lineup breath of the wild 2 comes to mind perfect timing mario kart 9 comes to mind splatoon 3 already confirmed for next year and so Nintendo looks like it will be the article continues to say Nintendo plans to release a revised version of the switch in the latter half of this year the latter half of this year a revised switch with a larger and better display as well as updated graphics when the hybrid console is plugged into a TV set and so switch pro as the news is reported i have to give it to you guys looks like nintendo's going to be coming out with more powerful hardware and it's i think this is a perfect timing for the switch pro this is where um we're getting that transition into next gen and people more and more people are like nintendo are you going to get left behind or are you going to continue to pump out great first party games and still get third party support now time will tell to see exactly how powerful this is going to be because at the end of the day it's still going to be a handheld but technology advances so far um we could xbox series s it has a compact console design and still could push out next gen graphics if nintendo but it doesn't have a screen and we all know nintendo is very price conscious price conscious and so hopefully, hopefully, the Switch Pro can at least, at minimum, be on par with a PlayStation 4. Perfectly would be a PlayStation 4 Pro. Then it'll definitely, definitely be able to keep up with next gen. All right. Bro. Things just got crazy with Game Pass and their next game. This is pretty historic. And here's why. We got a PlayStation event too we're going to talk about. But this marks the first time a huge AAA third-party game will be launching day and date on Game Pass. In the past, <coughs> Microsoft has made sure their huge first-party games launch day and date on Game Pass. But now... 
Outriders have been officially confirmed. I reported on this yesterday that it's been rumored, but now it's been confirmed. Outriders will launch day one on Game Pass on April 1st. And this marks the first time a huge triple a first party game will be coming to um game pass xbox's services now some are saying this was a last um second desperation move by square enix that they were looking at the pre-order numbers and the pre-order numbers were low not up to their expectation and so this was a way for them to still recoup uh, losses by getting that big fat check from xbox and having the game launch on their platform so this puts pressure on sony bro i can't even lie I, I i say day one i love my ps5 i didn't even buy xbox series x yet because i don't see a reason to but this puts pressure on sony this game is going to be 60 dollars on the ps5 versus free on game pass if you have the monthly subscription yeah you could say game pass you don't really own your games as soon as you, subs you don't pay for your subscription you lose the games but it is a tantalizing a tantalizing offer to have a big third party game come out day and date on game pass so xbox is being more aggressive we'll have to see how this game sells because again, um, um, the sales may have been a uh, the pre-orders may have been a contributing factor to why this game is on a Game Pass day and date. But there is a demo available. I did download the demo. I will be trying out the demo on my gaming channel, Obi One Plays Gaming Championship, either tonight or tomorrow. Tonight I'm going to be playing with the sponsors in Mario Kart, but. Um, I will be trying out the demo to see how the game is. The, everyone is telling me this is a cross between Destiny and Gears. Two great games. So we'll have to wait and see. But this is interesting news. Bro, it looks like there's going to be a PlayStation event. This came out of nowhere for me. A new PlayStation event will feature... Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade and Resident Evil Village. Now, this is going to be a Japan event, uh, upcoming Japanese live stream event happening March 21st in about a week's time. PlayStation presents Play, Play, Play March 21st. I don't know if I'm going to live stream it. It's all going to be in Japanese, so I might just get the point because I, I won't be able to understand it you won't be able to understand it but i may just um recap it on my channel i'll recap what they announced the big announcements but a new playstation event will be march 21st at 7 a.m boys who knows i might wake up and live stream it you never know make sure you subscribe and your notifications are on bro all right next news item new joy cons fortnite and nintendo has partnered and we have fortnite joy cons banana yellow and blue and as you can see around the home button on the yellow joy cons is the banana fortnite face so nintendo and epic has announced today a fortnite fortnite themed nintendo switch controllers which will be available june 4th june 4th so you still got a time to wait but june 4th new fortnite fortnite uh, controllers bro are you still trying to get a playstation 5 you're in luck because this week amazon will be restocking playstation 5s this is coming from t3.com on Tuesday, March 16th, that's tomorrow, and Wednesday, March 17th, so the next over the next two days, um, Amazon will be rolling out more PlayStation 5s to order. Now, according to this article, the PlayStation 5 page usually goes live around 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. GMT. 
that's a European time zone. So convert GMT to Eastern Standard Time to find out. So, but over the next two days, PS5s will be restocked, but they go real fast. So you gotta be ready. All right, dudes, those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know, but before you go, bro. Hold on, my kids wanna come in. I will do it again. I'm gonna let them come in, come on. All right, sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things gaming, bro. We out, peace. We're out, outro. Thank you.